today I am doing a video all about this girl. I'm going to tell you about furry therapy and it's also the furry friend tag or pet tag. So I got Tilly when I was 16, when I was pretty much at my, when I just got through my worst stage of having Emmy and I was just starting to walk for 10 minutes on my good days so I needed a little friend to keep me company at those times because it got really boring on my own and that's Tilly. We got her from the Dogs Trust and we were quite picky. We went several times and didn't find anyone we liked um, but eventually found her. There was a row of kennels with the small dogs in them and they were all jumping up and down and yapping away and in the very last kennel there was this little fox face who was jumping up and down but not yapping so we thought ah oh, she might be the one for us and we took her for a little walk and then we took her home a couple of weeks after that after we'd been all checked out by the dog warden or whoever the concept of furry therapy is giving someone with a chronic illness a buddy to stroke um, it, you, a dog, a cat, a rabbit, whoever. On days when she's, when I'm feeling miserable, she'll come and look after me. Well, keep me company at any rate. And she'll, she encourages me to go outside. In that, I know it's good if she gets outside, so I'm more likely to do that for her than I am for myself, because it's good for me to get outside for a little bit even if I can only manage to sit on the bench for five minutes. <laughs> she's very good company, she's a very funny little character, she's got lots of quirks. Some are less favourable than others. She likes to try and break out of our garden and go and eat the bird seed in next door's garden. But she keeps us all entertained, like when she runs round in a circle catching her tail or when she goes crazy over her ball. She's quite a clever little thing, she likes to learn tricks. As you can see she's very cuddly, which is quite good too, especially if I've, because my parents both work, so I spend a lot of long days on my own and it's quite good to have the company. The other thing pets do is really remind you to be interested and excited about the small things in life. She goes on the same walk nearly every day and she still finds new smells. And she's really good when I've been out without her and I come home and she's all really happy to see me. That's always one of my favourite parts. Tilly! Come on! Oh. Tilly's decided she doesn't want to film anymore, so I hope I didn't leave anything out. If you have thought of getting a pet to keep you company at home, I would really recommend it. I hope this video was really useful, and I'll see you in another one soon. I have a headache, so I guess you jumped on the sofa with me.